What is going on lads? This is Rip and Cheese Gaming here, firing back at you with another review. This time we're looking at the hit sensation Overwatch. But before we start this video, please may I ask that everyone using Adblock to fucking whitelist me. I cannot afford to start my Destiny Let's Play because you all refuse to put me on your whitelist, you ungrateful cunts. Anyways. Overwatch is the third game in the Sunset Overdrive series. A lot of mainstream gamers are quick to compare this game to Team Fortress 2, and they're right for the wrong reasons. TF2 and Overwatch have like loads of maps and like six playable characters that aren't complete aids, but they both have communities that are both want to die horribly in a car fire for spouting unfunny inside jokes into my Twitter feed. Speaking of the characters, here they all are. The all-star cast includes such lovable characters as Bastard, Handjob, Unfunny, Dreadlock Holiday, Rule 63 Interracial Bernie Sanders, Tracism, the one who nobody makes fan art of, Jack White, a ripoff of Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid 2, Mighty Number no. 9, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Melissa McCarthy, a lookalike of my bitch ex-girlfriend Lily, Back to the Future Part 3, and all of the other ones who nobody gives a fuck about. Blizzard makes these characters memorable by making them completely insufferable. For example, remember when Overkill added Goat Simulator and meme masks to Payday 2? Remember how shitty that was? Well, fuck it, look, Blizzard did the same thing! She's eating fucking- she's eating Doritos and she's drinking Mountain Dew! XD! The cast is so lovable that the popular online cartoonist Shen made a comic that didn't have the premise that life is hard for once. Yo fam, this comic, pretty good. But you know what, next time label Pudge as life and make the meat hook responsibilities and then make Halo a uh, me and this would be comedy gold. Better luck next time bruv. But you know, a game isn't a game without a game. And the other appealing feature of Over the Hedge is its fantastic balance. They had it down mostly, Clit Eatswood was really thought out, Tor Bajorn was pretty well made, Bastion didn't need any altering, but let's bounce back to May for a moment. Get it? Bounce back. May exists solely so console tards who are bad at FPS games can still join in. Remember that TF2 analogy? And you know what? I would only mildly hate her if she was just annoying on the internet. She's annoying in real life as well. If you want to cosplay but you're either a student or incredibly lazy, all you need to cosplay May is a blue tank top, a pair of glasses and a hairpin. That's a grand total of £17 if you get it all from Amazon. And on top of this, if you find May attractive, I have some advice for you. If you go onto Amazon.co.uk, you can get a 4-in-1 shaving kit for like £7.99. The neck beard thing doesn't look good not flattering anybody, you're probably making family gatherings like mad and comfortable, Uncle Cecil giving she you dirty thick. looks, she not, not good for anyone really, she she thick. Yeah, she thick. Underwear isn't just fun to play, it's also dope to watch, especially underneath random irrelevant internet commentary. Big shout out to my boys Critical, Snipers, Leafy, Scarce, Pyrocynical, and all of the unimportant B-listers who are trying to be like the ones I just named. Well done guys, God forbid that you play something other than Overwatch or CSGO knife surfing or something. Finally, Overeep Ames copies H1Z1 in the best way possible. The crate system! If Evolve did one thing right, it was holding all of the cool outfits behind a paywall. Blizzard has taken that to the next level. Not only do you have no fucking clue what you're gonna get, but a load of useless wank is tossed in the boxes as well. And the cherry on the fruitcake that is Overclock is that none of these items are tradable, meaning that you just spent a one pound and ninety pence on a load of ones and zeros that will never benefit you. It's not like you needed to pay for bills or food or anything, you freeloading dumbass kids. Overall, Overwatch is basically just CSGO for children. If shooting people just wasn't good enough, now you can shoot people as a robot who was somehow programmed to have PTSD. Which is a bullshit design flaw by the way, like, how the fuck do you even, why the fuck would you even program that? That makes me, it's like, fuck that stupid bird, like Gary or Steve or whatever the fuck. 
I'm going to stick to CSGO. And if I'm ever in the mood for shitty, funny gags and up the wall fucking shooting, I'm going to go back and play Borderlands again. Overall, I give Over the Garden Wall 4 cheese wheels out of 10. Don't give Blizzard your money. Overnight, everyone forgot about the fact that they shut down an Australia server, and all of a sudden, no one cares. Blizzard's just they're fucking gods again. You're all fucking sheep, buying the crates and getting the skins. Too bad none of you are smart like me.